because we are gonna sit down and watch my birth vlog. Coming into the world. You ready? Mama's in the tub getting ready to have baby. That's so exciting. <laughs> Look how much pain Mama was in. Mama was in so much pain. Mama hurting. <laughs> I literally asked you to squeeze my arms, Curtis, and it felt like you were just going like this. I thought I was gonna break your arm. Like, I asked you to squeeze my hand to take my freaking mind off the contractions, and he's over here just like lightly pinching me. I remember him saying, I don't wanna hurt you. Like, dude, don't worry about it. My back was killing me by the end of that. Your back was yeah, killing I know. It was you. So rough. They turned it down. Blake, you <laughs> muted it. It was a real tough experience. Yeah, it was real tough, Curtis. Real tough. Look at Mama. Her's in so much pain. But it's so worth it. I brought this little cutie into the world. Blake's coming. I remember, I remember, I what, start, I remember what it looks like right now. I start yelling and cussing oh. at this point. And this poor little Mennonite, this poor little Mennonite woman is just like, that seriously helped me, you guys. She said, let that burn be there. Because, like, you feel like you're trying to fight it. No, let that burn be there. Look, she's out. And she's like, catch your baby. Because I told her I wanted to catch my own baby. Bake, look, you're my out. Face. <laughs> look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> I never even I've know. never noticed your Me face <laughs> like that before. Wow. What were you thinking? Break it? I don't know. You don't want to break the Her. baby? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got to cut the cord. She jerked on me. Yeah. So <laughs> the best day of my life, you guys. Seven hours of labor, 24 minutes of pushing. So it is Blake's birthday. Today we are off on some fun adventures with grandma, my mom. So today we are off to Old Navy. We're gonna pick up a few things there. There's these really cute sandals I've had my eye on for a while that I really wanna get Blake. Then we're off to build a bear workshop at the mall. We're gonna check out some stores there and then end the night with some Hacienda, maybe some sweet frog along the way. We'll see. Happy birthday, Blake. So yeah, join us along the way. Let's have some fun. Blake is currently in her room sleeping, so I have a free minute to talk to you guys. 
as you can see by the setup, I'm probably gonna do a little haul for you guys. If you guessed that, you're right. Okay, so my mom took the day off of work. She really just wanted to spend some time with Blake and spoil her. Put that right there in the background. So let's dive into this haul. First, we went to Old Navy. My mom got her a bunch of cute little summer spring clothes. A long sleeve bathing suit, super cute. I actually did order Blake two other ones, which she'll get in her Easter basket. I think that's a great time to gift um, kids like really, really springy stuff like bathing suits, new sunglasses, new sandals. Just throw it all into their Easter basket. They will love it. Okay. Oh, moving on from there, these really cute leggings, two pairs of shorts, a super cute t-shirt, and then my mom actually picked these out for Blake. They're these two really cute rompers. Blake is always stealing Curtis's hats, so I got her a hat of her very own. This is from the dollar store, but I actually got this like a week ago, and I wanted, um, because I wanted to give it to her in the morning when I gave her her birthday pancakes which she loved, by the way. She plays with it all the time. She likes bonking things with it, especially the dogs, Coco and Stormy. She just bonks them on the head. It's hilarious because Coco and Stormy just try to eat it. It's funny. Anyway, I got some stuff for sensory play, garden tools, plant basket, these little shepherd's hooks. Next are these really cute welcome signs that we're going to hang on the shepherd's hooks. Blake actually picked these out herself. Flowers, I call them shake flowers because it's literally you open the box and then just shake them out. They're just completely wild flowers. Super great for somebody that doesn't want to like plant bulbs. I actually don't mind planting bulbs, especially the ones that come back yearly. Those are great. But yeah, I thought these would be just super fun for Blake to uh, try out. You know what I mean? And then this other plant pot. So why did I get Blake all this fun plant stuff? So I think it's really important to teach children about plants, like how they grow, why they grow, taking care of them, having responsibility for something, giving them a fun area outside that is their own, besides the sandbox. By the way, Curtis is going to be making her a DIY sandbox. That's a future video. I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be so fun to just film and, oh my gosh, Curtis, is, Curtis just loves doing stuff for his little baby, so it's going to be really fun. But anyway, it's a really good sensory activity, teaches them responsibility. There's so many benefits to a child having their own space outside to garden and play and stuff like that. So that's why we're doing this. Definitely future videos to come on that. I'm um, just gonna be fun, you know, seeing, I know she's a little bit, she's a little young now, but she still gets the concept of it. Like Blake is a nature junkie. So I'm going to give her her own space outside for her own flowers and she can do whatever she wants. You know, I'll help her put her shepherd hooks in and then hang the little welcome sign and we'll shake the flowers. And as they grow up, like it's, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be so fun just showing her like, Blake, look at the flowers. Like, wow, they're growing so big. It's gonna be so fun. Moving on, then we went to the mall. We got her a mini guitar. I call it a ukulele, but it's a mini guitar and it literally says ages six and up on the box, but whatever. It's not like it's a choking hazard or anything like that. So they had a few different colors to choose from. They had blue, tie-dye, dark brown. She picked out white herself. Like she's getting, she has her own style, you guys. My mom insisted on getting this for her. I was like, mom, mom, she does not need that. She's, she does not need a guitar, she's fine. My mom spoils that girl rotten, okay? And then my mom took her to build up her workshop. As you can see, sit next to me, not one bear, there's two bears. So Blake picked out this little pink bear and then this brown bear. And then my mom recorded her own noise for it. Happy birthday, Blake. Happy birthday. Happy first birthday. March 3rd, 2021. Grandma loves you so much. Kisses and hugs. Love you, Blake. Love, love, love. Blake picked out the little outfit for this one. How cute, it's just like a bunch of candy. And that is it for her little birthday haul, her birthday day haul. Me and Chris got a bunch of presents for her, but we're saving that for her birthday party. Is there anything else I wanna update you guys on? <gasps> yes, absolutely. My cat had kittens. Yeah, I'll say it again. My cat gave birth to four kittens. They're cute. They're super cute. Y'all want to go see him? I want to go see him. I mean, let's go see him. Who doesn't want to see him?